Today's the day I finally make the move. If this works, I'll be a happy man. Alright, we got this, we got this. Don't stress. Honey, you're home so early. I know, I actually have a huge surprise for you. I've been meaning to do this for a long time now, and you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'll show you. After 20 years of dating, I'm finally placing my bed next to yours. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Wait, what? Whose bed is that? What is going on? Dude, who are you? Who am I? I'm her boyfriend. We've been dating for 20 years. This must be some mistake. This is obviously my girlfriend. Honey, what's what's going on? Um, look, I can explain. No, that's it. I'm breaking your bed. Dude, stop trying to break my bed. What are you doing? What are you talking about? You don't live here. This is my house. Hey, get, get out of here. As soon as you leave, I'm breaking your bed. We should probably take this outside before it gets messy. Yeah, let's do that. We stood outside for hours, never leaving sight of each other's beds. But little did we know was that this little fight was gonna unleash something much bigger. Hey, what are you doing? I can't see your bed now. I know, that's why I put this here. I don't want you looking at my bed. Fine, we can play like that. And that's when the first bed defenses were born. It started off small, just with a few basic dirt layers. But as time went on, the bed defenses only grew bigger and bigger, to the point where we couldn't even tell if there was a bed still under there or not. But the start of defenses led to much more trouble. Man, if only there was some way I could get more resources without him knowing. Wait, I think I have an idea. Alright, let's just get you in here. Oh my god, what are you doing? Look, man, you're not gonna understand this now, but I promise you, it will all make sense soon. Dude, really? How long am I gonna be here for? Uh, look, I don't really know, I just need you to give me a bunch of resources, okay? And then I'll let you out. Why would I give you anything? So, I know villagers can't break blocks, so without me, you're pretty much stuck here forever. So, you should just give me what I need, okay? You make a fair point. Did you seriously steal a villager so he could just give you more resources? Uh... Yeah? Is there a problem with that? No, but you have to let me have one then. Alright, yeah, I can live with that. And that's when the shopkeepers entered the war. Oh god, not again. With shopkeepers being there to give us infinite resources, the entire game changed. Soon, our bed defenses became so fortified that it was pretty much impossible to break in at this point. But this is when I almost lost my bed. Hey kid, I'll give you free golden apples if you go over there and mind that guy's bed. I was almost too late. Wait, what is this guy doing? My enemy almost destroyed my bed by hiring another person to do the work for him. But luckily, I stopped his attempt. But after that encounter, tensions were at an all-time high. We started to create a border between us. We both agreed that our beds were too accessible, and it was an unfair advantage to both of us. So that's when we started digging. But unfortunately, the digging got out of hand, and we ended up digging all the way down to the void. But the worst part is, we didn't stop there. We went much, much further than that. Just one more to go, and done. Now, we can finally go back to our war. Me and my enemy both single-handedly mined every block in the world, except for the islands that had our beds. This is when bridging was created. We had to get to each other's islands somehow. But like all things, bridging caused something even more terrible. Villager, give me fireballs now. Dude, I'm not giving you a fireball. But my enemy got his way. I'm gonna regret this. My enemy grabbed the fireball from the villager and took aim. I looked behind me to see a giant hole in my bridge and fire spreading across the entire thing. And I saw my enemy holding fireballs. But after I got fireballs of my own, all out chaos began and our bed defenses were obliterated. But one night, everything changed when I caught my enemy sleeping. I knew that this was my chance to get his bed once and for all, and we could finally end this war. I dug into his bed defense, and it was already too late. I knew he wasn't gonna stop me. I found his bed. It was still there after all this time. I took one final look at it, and I broke it. The war for beds was now over. You've lost. I mind your bed. Ah, uh, well, you finally got me. Well, I guess it's over now, huh? Wow. Yeah, I guess it is. Man, that was a long time. Yes, yes I think, I think this, this game, game will work, work quite, quite nicely. nicely. Let's, Let's add, add it. it. Who was that? 